the, the main cause of blindness is loss of photoreceptor cells. And the main aim of uh, this study was, is to uh, see whether we can transplant photoreceptor cells, repair the retina and restore vision. In order to test this, what we've done is we've uh, taken immature photoreceptor cells from a neonatal mouse retina and transplanted them into adult mice that have a particular genetic defect that means they have no functioning rod photoreceptor cells. So the animals can see perfectly well in, in normal light, in bright light, but they um, are completely blind um, in, uh, in dim light. So effectively they're night blind and there are, there are some humans that have a very similar genetic defect. So in order to test whether transplantation of photoreceptors results in improved vision, we used a water maze test. This is a tank in which we uh, have some uh, water and a hidden platform. And we can train mice to go to the platform in response to a visual cue, which is coming from a, a computer screen. And, and if it can see and it's been trained, it will swim to the side of the divider with a visual cue and a hidden platform. The mice uh, that we use in this study uh, have uh, a rod photoreceptor defect and so they have no rod function and therefore they can't see in dim light. And they, they swim round the, the water tank until they, they, they find the, the hidden platform by touch. And so what we found in this study is that by transplanting between 20 and 30,000 photoreceptor cells, remarkably few photoreceptor cells, um, we can restore their rod-mediated vision, that is to say their, their ability to see in, in, in dim light. There are still a number of steps that, that need, need to be taken before we can apply this to humans. Uh, the most important step is, is to transplant uh, stem cell-derived photoreceptor cells uh, rather than photoreceptor cells that have been obtained from a donor retina. We also need to be able to transplant cones as well as rods because cones are very important for uh, human vision. And we need to really optimise um, our ability to transplant the cells into, into um, very degenerate retina. So these are a number of steps um, that, that we're working on um, that, that may take five to ten years to, to achieve.